Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. I'm going to do your daily mini reading for you. I'm using my lovely animal totem cards uh, today, uh, my animal totem tarot, to see what messages are here for you today. I'm going to pull one card, as you know, and see what the overriding energy is also on the bottom of the deck. Uh, if the reading resonates with you, it is simply you remembering what you already know in divine timing. Uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, my darling, it simply means it wasn't for you at this time. They're always be a reading out there for you at exactly the right time as guided by spirit if you would like a reading with me all of the details are in the description box below and thank you so much to all of you for your likes your comments your shares and subscribes uh, i'm very very grateful i haven't replied to a lot of you at the moment and i will do so i promise you thank you so so much um and uh if you would like a personal reading with me i think i've said that all the details are in the description box below so let's move ahead with the reading uh, little daisies just appeared out of the rain it's raining heavily here but it's also sunny so i'm hoping there is a rainbow which would be very magical thank you spirit let's see what wants to come out for you thank you just one card please that one wanted to pop out so we have got we have got the ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and we have got the seven of cups has come out for you so let me move this deck out of the way and um that's your ace of pentacles let me show you that that's the overriding energy this is the dung beetle and we have got the seven of cups with the lovely dragonflies as well so let me talk about the uh, ace of pentacles first of all this dung, be dung beetle so dung beetles um it's interesting isn't it that so many animals like the sort of cheetah and the lion and the elephant we all sort of want to talk about them and they're amazing with their analogies their spiritual messages for us but the dung beetle has a very very strong message for you as well a very powerful message for you too um dung beetles represent strength um and they represent it goes back i think to egyptian times they represent rebirth uh it's kind of like a a massive shift and change that you have gone through as a result of an emotional experience that you've gone through and it is this is the this whole thing about this pentacle okay the pentacle it's it's about it can talk about your manifestations it can talk about things that are in your in your experiences in your reality but it also talks about, it's about coins as well, isn't it? And coins have values. So it's about the value of the lesson that you have learned through the experience that you have gone through is a big message here from spirit. And they're kind of having a bit of a sense of humor because with the dung beetle, obviously it rolls up poo shit so they're saying <laughs> it's the soul gift that's kind of come out of the awareness what you've learned from this shitty experience um and um the other thing that's interesting about it is that it's it represents i think get in egypt it's about the sun and uh i think in egypt it represented the sun god and the sun god obviously the sun obviously represents healing that you've gone through in a healing that you've gone through at this time so um and aces are about the essence of of this this particular suit of the pentacle suit so this is something that the essence of the shift and change within you is the value that you are putting on what you have learned from the experience that you have been through thank you and what that now means with with that shift and change within you with the ace of pentacles this is a divinely timed gift for you something that the universe is causing and creating and your soul is causing and creating in divine timing something that's been crafted behind the scenes for you and is going to appear in divine timing and opportunity lots of possibilities and the fact you've got the seven of cups here with choices and options and possibilities as well so uh, and the other thing i'm noticing in this card is that you've got uh, the dark clouds are passing. So whatever has been a darker period of your life, the clouds are moving away, just like with everything. Everything is constantly changing, fleeting. And so this is a reminder for you that this too shall pass, or this has passed already for some of you. And the lilies here also represent rebirth for you as well. Now, um, the dung beetle also is a very clever, and uh, clever beetle because it, um, 
Well, first of all, actually, I'm going to say the dung beetle also travels great distances. So you've been on a bit of a journey and it takes great strength and endurance and dedication for that dung beetle to continue to roll that dung, roll that dung along a great distance to where it feels is the right place for it to go. And it also, I think it, 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 uh, it puts its young in the dung, but doesn't just leave it there. It then puts it in a very safe space. So spirit is saying at the moment that, you know, and we can appreciate the dung beetle for doing that because it is very clever of it to do so. And it's also, you know, it is dedicated. So spirit wants you to be dedicated to your cause, be dedicated to your authentic self, to your desires, be dedicated to appreciating yourself, respecting yourself, having that, that self-worth in yourself. And it's also about you focusing on what is worthy of your attention, being dedicated to what is worthy of your attention. So maybe with the seven of cups as well, don't get distracted by lots of other things. You know, that control or delete on a computer when you start to buffer with too many tabs open. Um, just focus on the task at hand. Thank you, Spirit. Focus on the task at hand and try not to be distracted by other things at this time, but focusing on what is intuitively, intuitively right for you. Um, and be very determined in uh, achieving your goals. And because the, the dung beetle has creative solutions to challenges, thank you, uh, therefore you have creative solutions to challenges. And if you're not sure what those are at the moment, just trust that the answers will come to you at the right time. Remembering challenges you can see as a challenge, as a block or challenge as an opportunity for growth for you as well. So, and because um, the dung beetle, I seem to know an awful lot about dung beetles, but it's all kind of coming in. I think the dung beetles, um, uh, they, uh, don't they stop, you know, when you've noticed they kind of stop and they look, uh, I love watching nature programs, they stop and they look about the right way to go. So it's a note, a reminder for you to, to do take moments in your rush to get things done, to stop, to pause on your path, to consider, is this the right way? Does this feel right for me? Could I be doing this another way? So just take those moments of pause in your life at this time. And, um, because it is the Ace of Pentacles and it's the Dung Beetle, it is about if you're not feeling grounded, if your mind is going over and over like a round, like this Dung Beetle rolling around with all sorts of obsessive thoughts and, and, um, and beliefs about things, it's, oh, my light is disappearing. Bear with me just one second. Sorry about that. So yes, if your mind is kind of going over and over and over things, a little about this dung, like this dung beetle rolling things, it's a moment for you to catch yourself in that state of awareness that this is happening and go and do something that's going to help ground you. Go for a walk outside, eat certain types of root vegetables, do whatever appeals to you to become more in a grounded, uh, balanced way. So, so the big sort of energy space that's coming out of this is the appreciation of the essence of the gift, um, the essence of what has happened, the lesson learned from this shitty experience, this experience that you have gone through where it's been a bit darker, but because of that, because of that shift in energy, now there are divinely timed opportunities that this is the Ace of Pentacles that are coming in for you now. And you are more than capable and you are ready and you have the creative genius. You have the creative expression within you to, uh, to move forward with this. So that's the Ace of Pentacles. And then we have the Seven of Cups. So isn't that beautiful? The Seven of Cups is about choices, opportunities, possibilities for you at this time. It can also be a card about overthinking as well. So it's a reminder for you about that. Um, and what I'm, I'm, you know, the Seven of Cups also can be about wishful thinking and imagination, but that's all good, darling, because when we, it's like blowing up a dandelion, isn't it? When we send our wishes on the wind with the trust that it's already happened, we just haven't seen it yet, then we're having faith that it's gonna come back to us, which it does. So your wishful thinking, let's put it that way, when you are imagining 
as long as you are enveloping yourself in the feelings that it's already happened, then you are creating a very powerful connection with source energy and you are willing it to come towards you. So um, there are lots, I can just see in this card, there are lots and lots and lots of opportunities for you here to cause and create. There are lots of opportunities around you and spirit is asking you to um, not necessarily the ones it's about what you can see in front of you. Yes, there are opportunities, but there's also an empty cup there. So that is what is yet to be filled. What is still unknown? In the unknown, there are limitless possibilities. And when we expect that unexpected, when we are open and ready to receive all of it, then we are expecting a surprise and delight because expecting the unexpected, when you expect something, you receive it. So if somebody expects to always be disappointed, always to be sad, always to be negative about something, they're going to receive things that make them feel that way. So expect the unexpected. So try and catch your mind at this stage. Is it more geared towards worry and stress and overthinking and overanalyzing? Or is it open and receptive, which I believe it is, because there's lots of lovely things in all of these cups here, to the surprises and delights that the universe is bringing to it. So that's a really, really big message for some of you. Now, the dragonfly, the lovely, lovely dragonfly appears, I think, in the Bible a lot, and it lives near water, so it's emotional. This is a very emotional expressive time for you so explore your feelings explore your emotions about what it is that you are attaching value to what is it that makes you feel good what is it that you're dedicated what cause are you dedicated to at this time so and because there's lots of gorgeous things in this card as well and it's because it's the dragonfly spirit is reminding you to live life to its fullest at this moment be present in this present moment be present with what is in front of you and enjoy it for all of the experiences that it has been given to you. You know, there is a um, living life to its, its fullest allows us to sort of sometimes overcome disillusionment in our life because we're focusing on the positive, not on the negative. Now, the dragonfly also talks about the change and the transformation that you are going through at this time. And because of that ace of pentacles as well, I, I'm, I trust with this and I feel with this that you have attached a huge importance to this change and transformation and you are recognizing it for what it is and you're recognizing that you have a deeper connection now to the essence of who you are, the essence of who you are as the universe, you are the universe experiencing itself. So um, the big message here is, you know, stop and enjoy what it is that you have in your life. You've appreciating the value of what you've gone through. Uh, live life to its fullest at this time and be open to change because dragonflies also talk about change, change and transcendence, be open to change, be open to embracing the unknown. In the unknown, there are limitless possibilities and try and remain centered and, uh, and grounded and be willing also like the dragonfly to kind of change direction. I mean, the dragonfly also is born, I think, in the water, and then it kind of, um, it, 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 it matures, and then it becomes almost uh, reflectory with its wings and full of colour with the light shining on it. So this is an example of the transformation that you have gone through emotionally to be full of light, to be full of colour, to be full of optimism. Um, and sometimes we just get pulled back through our negative I'm going to say negative, but program traits that we have within us. So just catch yourself if you're finding yourself expecting the expected and come back to expect the unexpected and um, and just be prepared to, to, to embrace whatever change in direction that you're being asked to take at this time. Um, and there, as I said, I'm just going to finish with that. There is one cup here that I'm looking at. There is one cup there that is not full. So enjoy what you have, but know that that other cup, which represents that love you have for yourself and also you're embracing the opportunities that are not yet known. You're excited about them. So I hope that has not too bad. I think I've done it in under around about 15 minutes. I hope that has helped those that have come to this reading and it has resonated with you. I look forward to doing another reading for you tomorrow. 
I apologize for Libra and Aries that I haven't done your readings yet. I will try and get one of those done today and another one tomorrow or both tomorrow, but I will get those done for you. And then I am moving on to my summer readings for you. Uh, but in the meantime, have the rest of a lovely day and um, I take, take care and I'll see you tomorrow. So much love, my darlings. Bye bye.